Hello and welcome to the shortest video. Oh. <laughs> the shortest movement video on ancient Greek medicine. The Greeks believed that all diseases and disabilities supposedly resulted from an excess of one of these four humours. These were thought to be the to be caused by vapours inhaled or absorbed by the body. The four humours are black bile, yellow bile, phlegm and blood. The theory that was your line. <laughs> the theory of the four humours was an important development in medical knowledge which originated in the works of Aristotle. The Greeks believed that the body was made up from four main components or four humours. These four humours needed to remain in balance in order for people to remain healthy. These four humours were liquids within the body, blood, phlegm, yellow bile and black bile. These could be connected with the four seasons of the year. Yellow bile with summer, black bile with autumn, phlegm with winter and blood with spring. Hippocrates and other Greek practitioners argued that the balance of the four humours would be most affected in those particular seasons. For example, if someone has a fever, they would have been thought to have had too much blood in their body. The logical cure, therefore, is to bleed the patient. Public health is about avoiding the spread of disease within a particular society, often through providing water to help keep people um, themselves, animals and their surroundings clean. The Greek city-states did not have this, but people, but Greek people nevertheless had strong ideas about how to stay healthy. For example, they favoured a lean physique. They were the inventors of the Olympics. A healthy diet and regular exercise were a normal part of Greek daily regimes. Because of, Greek, of Greece's geographic location, it was very easy for them to trade as it was located in the middle of the Mediterranean. They traded for the nearby countries such as Egypt, Turkey and other surrounding countries. This allowed them to gain practical resources as well as medical knowledge from these countries. They obtained a great amount of medical knowledge from the books at Alexandria Library in Egypt. As well as the natural belief, there is also the flip side to it, supernatural. Ancient Greeks value so much in their religion and practice it a lot too. You need to know who Asclepius is and what effect he has on medicine. Asclepius was believed to be a Greek god of healing, son of Apollo and Cronus. Asclepius' importance comes from the fact that he threatened the natural beliefs by raising people from the dead. Asclepius was however killed by Greek god Zeus with a thunderbolt and in honor of his name a temple was built called Asclepian. People built people would go to the temple when they became ill. Um. They would also make sacrifices and spend the night in the ab tomb. An abjitum was a building part of it. They would pray, make sacrifices and spend the night in the abdomen in the Abiton. <laughs> the Abiton was a building that has a roof but no walls. While sleeping, people believed that Asclepius would ill them, but however, it may have been the priest that treated them during ward round. The priest would cure them by performing ri rituals on the patients. However, as a result of this, it built the visitors believe on Asclepius. 